You know what you see a bunch of on the road these days? Electricity. Lots of electric cars. There are electric scooters scattered all over the place. But it seems there's one vehicle that's been left out of the e-revolution. I mean, where are the electric hogs, choppers, easy riders, and mopeds? Sorry, that last one was for me because I don't prefer bugs in my teeth at high speeds. Well, now on a bike, you could be road hugging with a motorcycle that's a plug-in. Here's Adam Yamaguchi to explain. This is Glenn Curtis, who in 1907 set a then world record speed of 136 miles per hour racing a motorcycle of his own design and construction using a V8 internal combustion engine. His record stood until 1930 and his innovation is considered a national treasure. These two men, Matt Chambers and JT Nesbitt, set out to emulate Curtis's creative spirit by building a cycle like no other from the ground up. But theirs is 100% electric. I headed south to New Orleans, Louisiana to see the bespoke bike made in a garage just like its earlier namesake. They call it Curtis One. Adam, this is the one. Wow. The first all new Curtis motorcycle in 115 years. The confluence of Mr. Curtis and Battery Electric seems so organic and natural. It's a great American story and we're pleased with the result. Why the decision to go electric for a motorcycle? The Battery Electric technology allows us to make a motorcycle the first time that could last forever. Like the original Curtis cycle in 1907, the new Curtis One features a slim profile, letting the rider embrace the bike like a horse and feeling more balanced. The proprietary battery design helped achieve that. So this is our battery pack. This is a 400 volt battery pack. It's an electric motorcycle, not a digital one. There are no parts to wear out. As long as you can keep tires on it, this motorcycle will always run. This is an heirloom quality uh, object. JT took the Curtis One out of the garage to let me get a feel for it. Go ahead, give her a little throttle. You can ride around the neighborhood at 1 a.m. and your neighbors won't hate you. Yeah. Well, I'm not a rider and I don't want to crash this beautiful work of art. Do you mind taking it around the block and showing us what it can sure, do? Sure, let's see what she'll do. Watching JT ride off on the bike was completely different than what I'm used to seeing. That is so quiet. It's practically silent. Yeah, she goes pretty good. Sometimes, great innovation happens when the present reaches back to connect with the past.